Hey guys, this is Jamin PC Monkey. Uh, we're bringing you a do-it-yourself computer video today. We're going to answer the question today, how do I know what kind of RAM to buy? Um, a lot of people have been asking us that. We forgot to upload that video a while ago. So we're going to show you how to uh, purchase the right kind of RAM. So first of all, here is your RAM. Uh, they're usually held in the computer this way. Uh, you'll have one stick or two, uh, one or two ports. There's a spring-loaded arm that holds it in, in place. So we're just going to push those arms apart a little bit. The RAM stick pops up, and then we just slide it out. So that's how you would take your RAM out. So let's zoom in on that stick, show you the numbers that you need. Move the camera over here. There we go. So these are the values that you're going to be looking for, two numbers. The first number is the actual value of your RAM, 2 gigabyte. Uh, this can say 4 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, whatever. Now, in order to know what kind of size to get for your computer, you want to know what your computer maxes out at. The thing with RAM is you can put however much RAM in a computer you want. It's not going to damage your computer if you put in too much RAM, but your computer is only going to use and access what it's designed to max out at. So if this computer here was designed to max out at 16 gigabytes of RAM and I put 32 in, I'm not going to hurt my computer, but it's only going to access that's 16 and I'm going to have wasted my money purchasing 32 gigabytes of RAM. So it won't cause any physical harm, you're just wasting money. Uh, so you want to make sure that you know how much RAM you max out at before you go buy RAM. Uh, we'll have a link in the description of a site called Crucial.com, that's what we've been using lately uh, to find out how much RAM a computer can take. Uh, but you can also go online and search for your computer for sale. Um, because that's generally a good judge of what RAM sizes it, it comes in. It's not for sure, but if it's being sold in 16 and 32, then, then those probably are, are what it's maxing out at. The other number you need to order RAM is right here. This PC3L-12800S, that's the other set of numbers you need to order the correct RAM. So if you find out that this RAM stick is bad, you go on eBay, you put in 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes, let's say, if you want to upgrade, and then you put in this PC3L12800S, that'll give you the correct RAM stick. That PC3, that's another way of saying DDR3. Oftentimes you'll hear it saying this computer uses DDR3 RAM or DDR2 RAM. Um, that's how you would know uh, the PC3 or the DDR3, sometimes it'll say. So that's how um, you would buy the correct RAM. Uh, the DDR3 you can tell because it's got this many pins on this side, this many pins on this side. With a DDR2 stick, this side will be a lot smaller, and that'll be a DDR2 RAM. So you can tell by looking at them what they are. Uh, but if you don't know, then you would use those two numbers to order the RAM. Uh, and then to put the RAM back in, you just plug it in, get it nice and flush, press down, and there you go. Whoops, there you go. Uh, so if this was helpful in helping you find out the right RAM to get, please like and share. If you had any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, we do get back to you at least a couple times a day to help you uh, deal with whatever situation, whatever repair you're going through. And uh, thank you for watching.